people higher. Uh, good morning, my name is Lynn Gillette. I'm the president of the Silicon Valley chapter of AAII. We've got another great program ready for you this morning. A couple of housepe housekeeping notes. The restrooms are out in the corridor, the double doors into the uh, actually building where the front desk is. And just before you hit the front desk, you make a right turn and the restrooms are at the end of that hallway. And in terms of emergency exits, they got the one you, we came, that everybody came in on. These other doors are not generally open, but they'll open to get out. I don't think you're going to have any problems, but just in case. <laughs> uh, you've seen the programs we've got coming up in June and May, and we're going to go to an earlier starting time uh, and standardize on 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we did a little survey, and there were a few people that didn't like it, but most people said that was fine. So, and the, the reason for that is we'll be able to start our single and double speaker programs at the same time be less confusion and uh, make it simpler. Uh, uh, our speaker today is Alexander Horn, and I'm going to I'm going to let Al do the final uh, uh, introduction. <coughs> but Al probably has some comments to make about inter the Internet Investing Group and the group that he heads, and then we'll go ahead and get this program off and running. Does everybody have a copy of the handouts? By the way, anybody who didn't get a copy, somebody in the back there. I uh, didn't get a copy. Good. We'll get you a copy. And uh, we'll let Al take over now. Here you go. Okay. Hello, sir. Howdy, howdy. I don't know where you want to put that. Okay. Hello, good. So a couple of things. First, general announcements. Um, I'm the uh, chapter leader of the um, computerized investing subgroup. Our next meeting will be Sunday, April 19th. Uh, yeah, I know, Sunday. <laughs> April 19th at the Saratoga Library. Uh, and I'll, since this has been video recorded and so on, I won't say what I think of library policies that say that they're available, but really not because they reserve all time slots for their um, own library events. In any case, that's the next meeting. Uh, uh, starts at 1.30 to 4. Thank you. The next thing is uh, uh, you know, a plug for the, our Facebook page. Uh, basically, it's a, you know, a weird mix of a chronology of our events uh, and a little bit of investment articles and whatnot and videos and whatnot. So uh, if you're not a Facebook member, don't worry, you know, you don't have to be, you can just go take a look at it. Uh, if you are a Facebook member, you know, like the page and you'll, well, you know, find out what's going on. So for example, for this session, I put some stuff up there about Logical Invest. So even before uh, the meeting, there was some information about uh, um, this session. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so now, uh, in terms of uh, introduction, um, inside Alexander's uh, presentation, what you'll see is you know, he's going to give a bio of himself and his partners. So I'm going to avoid that, and I'm going to talk <coughs> to you about how I got in contact with Alex. So last, late last year, I started to hear and get emails about Logical Invest, okay? Uh, a couple of people I know, uh, joint, uh, a couple of people uh, I know joined as subscribers. Uh, they started to point me to the site. There were articles in Seeking Alpha, which is one of the uh, uh, sites that I, and blogs that I visit, and they look pretty interesting, okay? And so then in January, the Computerized Investing Group took a look at one of the algorithms that Alexander's uh, uh, team put together, and uh, very interesting. Yes, sir? Can you have everybody mute or turn off their cell phones? Somebody's phone over here is beeping. Okay, uh, if you didn't hear that, if you have a cell phone 
uh, or other device, please <coughs> mute it, turn it off, etc. as necessary. Thank you. So, uh, in any case, so we looked at the uh, one of the algorithms the logical invest put together, worked real well, very impressed by it, etc. Uh, then what happens is Alex contacts me on, on the Yahoo board and says, geez, all this, uh, etc. and a conversation began. So uh, that ultimately led to where we are today. So it's not the normal sort of situation in terms of uh, money manager or mutual fund manager. Uh, that's the second thing that I'll point out is to some degree, and this is my opinion, and you know, Alexander certainly is the uh, authority, but to some degree you can, with logical invest, you can either, there's two ends to a spectrum. You can treat it very simply as an advisory service uh, when they give you monthly signals, or if you are an engineer or technically oriented and want to understand, well, how the heck are these guys actually invested my money? And why are they doing this stuff? Okay, which is, I'm at that end of the spectrum, all right. Uh, they pretty much lay it out for you, okay. They do very good work. I was very impressed. Uh, hence, again, uh, what we're doing at uh, the session today. The final thing I will mention is this is the first time I think we've recorded, video recorded a session. So Joe Grunder, the guy that's sitting next to the video recorder there, is essentially uh, video recording this session, uh, you know, gratis, if you will, and uh, you know, a record of the session will be put up. Uh, so a, a new, uh, new adventure in that area as well. And without very long introduction, I'll hand things over to Alexander. And by the way, if you see me limping around, that's because somebody dropped 40, feet, 40 pounds on my foot yesterday, and uh, my, my foot is about twice its normal size. <laughs> oh well, there you go. Uh, we're gonna do brief questions during the presentation. Long questions we want to leave for Q&A afterwards. And after the presentation, we'll have a drawing for the, for the book. It's amazing. Uh, the free book. So we, we, we'll draw, check it out. And, uh, and then we'll, we'll put it in here. Q&A yeah. questions. Uh, and we have microphones, so we'll give you microphones to ask the question. Unfortunately, that will not necessarily be recorded, so the speaker will be repeating the question. Thank you. This one here. 